Depth of holiness. Please, I speak especially to the young people. All of us who are young people in this region, let's not make it look like being a young person is a stupid thing. Are we together? Some people were discussing me somewhere and uh, I got to hear, of course, and one of the ladies said, ah, this person, you mean, there are all these beautiful girls in Koinonia, how is he doing? Let me tell you how I'm doing. I'm very fine. Very fine. Very fine. Healthy in the spirit. Very fine. I intend to continue with God for a long time. I decided that from the start of the journey. We are afraid responsibility that firm decision brings. Because we know it will have to force us. We still want to enjoy some things. You see that? Because if you make a firm decision, you too, you know. You know a firm decision means deleting that person's phone number. But you don't want to. So you are not serious. That's the meaning. Because you live, Jesus, I live. No fear of what tomorrow brings. Because you live, Jesus, I live today. I live to pray. A true spirit of revival. That you can see somebody kept his money and leave it there. When the old man wants to touch it, he reminds you that it has been nailed to the cross. And you mind your business and leave that money there. Even though you needed money to eat. The spirit of holiness. Let me tell you. If we allow the spirit of holiness to leave our territory, we will never experience the fullness of God. We will not see miracles and signs and wonders. Please, let's not mock God. I know what I'm saying is hard, but you too, you know I'm not lying. You know I'm not lying. Don't let the spirit of holiness just run out of your life. And the key to unholiness is carelessness. Carelessness. Hey. There's one party we're having. Yeah, but I don't drink against it. Just come, Jerry. Carelessness. Lot settled near Sodom. Lot settled near Sodom. Lot settled near Sodom. You take advantage of the grace of God and produce a life that is worthy. Please don't feel condemned. I speak to all of us here, those who are here and those who are following us. The goal is not to condemn you. But the goal is to create conviction by the power of the Holy Spirit. Holy power go hand in hand. Don't ever deceive yourself that you can compromise on holiness and experience the power of God. You can kneel down with offering and lift it to a man of God. There has to be true holiness. There has to be true holiness. I'd like you to lay hands on your head in one minute and pray and say, Lord, restore to my life the spirit of holiness. Go ahead and pray. Please pray. Especially affected by what I'm saying, please pray. This is a threshing floor. It's a family. Please lay your hands and say, Lord, I've been pretend it's not an issue. But tonight you have brought your word out of love. Not to condemn me, but to remind me that you are still waiting. I receive a baptism of the spirit of holiness. Those outside, please make sure you are laying your hand. Oh, I separate myself by grace from the works of the flesh. The impulses of the flesh. The appetites of the flesh. The appetite. The lust and the carnality that destroy great men. Lord, I'm going far. The spirit of holiness must come upon my life. It must come upon my life. Adoration. Lord, I used to have it, but something happened. I gave in to women. I gave in to men. I gave in to drinking. I gave in to wrong relationships. I was lonely and I allowed, I, I frustrated the manifestation. But tonight, oh God, in this place, I receive grace. Grace. 
grace. It's not by the strength of the flesh. You can't resist evil by the strength of the flesh. Remember the cross. The place where grace comes from. Your old man has been nailed. Therefore mortify your body. Take advantage of that grace. Let it become an instrument of righteousness. Please pray. It's a year of multiplied grace and influence. God is not a native doctor. Godliness. True holiness. That's why many of our fathers have lost touch with spiritual reality. Help us, O God. That in lifestyle, in, in conversation, that everything about your life, there is a presence of holiness you will carry on your job, in school, in your atmosphere. Not by condemning others. Not by reading people off. That's the flesh. You won't glorify God that way. But that you carry a compelling presence. Hallelujah. Before we continue, pray again. Say, Lord, I overcome childlessness in my life. Some of us are already at the verge. God is bringing this as a prophetic message. Because some of us are already dwindling. Visiting the guy carelessly. Doing all kinds of things carelessly. You are a Christian. God is bringing this message to salvage you. Get back to order. Get back to order. Get back to order. Get back to order. The true spirit of holiness. No. You can't start accepting bribe. Not at this level of your life. You used to hate it before. Don't all of a sudden love bribe. You are a Christian and a Christian indeed. The spirit of God in you and the righteousness of God compels you to hate immorality. Not out of fear, but because of your love for God and your desire to be used by Him. Make sure it doesn't leave. That's a fire you must not allow to die. Aside from immorality and the rest, what of vain glory? What of self-seeking? What of vanity, ambitions that are not consistent with Christ? Please pray. This is a threshing floor tonight. Those of us outside, make sure you are praying. If nobody has told you there is a problem with your life, I'm telling you there is. If you are giving room to the flesh, I don't care what excuse you bring. God does not condemn, but He does not condone evil. Many of us have been praying, Lord, I want you to use me. I want to see your power. I'm showing you the secret. It overrides fasting and prayer.